Buonasera. Sei. Buonasera a tutti. Iniziamo la conferenza. Good evening. We have a little good evening. Stefano Fiori and Devanti Kunic. Can you start with the question, then, please? Hi, Mr. Fiori. Hi, Radi. First question. Um, how are you feeling on the eve of such an important game? Well, obviously, it's a little bit um, feeling pretty positive. Um, we're very confident, um, very enthusiastic, very determined to win. Question for Sky, please. Hi. To the two of you, the usual question. Um, update on um, uh, injured players. Um, I think Giroud had a cold, uh, or has a cold. Is he likely to play? And what about Brian Diaz? I know that Brian Diaz was back training with the uh, team today. Um, he's been out for four or five days. Will he be able to start from the bench or start um, in the starting 11? Well, they're both well. They're both well. There's 24 players with me, and all 24 could play from the beginning tomorrow. So we're all ready. Um, that includes um, Brian and uh, Oliver. Rice Sport, please. Hi, Stefano. Good evening. Um, Antonio, Conte, Antonio Conte spoke today. He's back, as it were. Um, that was confirmed today. Now, does that change for you? The fact that ain't changed anything. The fact that Conte will be on the in the dugout today. Well, I think yeah, a uh, coach being in the, on the in the dugout is always important, and certainly important for the way in which I coach. Um, um, whenever I've been away from the team, um, I've really missed the team, and uh, think that um, it's been tough for me. Um, Conte, there's no doubt that um, he'll represent some added value um, um, by being present. But in any case, we're playing against a tough opponent, well prepared, very motivated, and that's normal after all. It's an important game after all, isn't it, for both teams? And it's important for both teams uh, to play the best possible game. Uh, Limon before Kulunic. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you. You're the player who's um, perhaps made a significant contribution to winning the um, uh, league last year, um, playing in the specific position for the coach. Um, do you think um, you're the kind of player who can play anywhere? Um, and you know, you're, wha to what extent does it matter that you're the champions of Italy coming here tonight? Well, yeah, I do consider myself to be a utility player, as it were. Um, and um, being able to play more than one role, more than one position is a good thing, I think. Um, I know that the uh, manager is happy with me from that point of view. And of course, we have to uh, play this game as the champions of Italy because we are a strong team and we're here because we deserve to be. We deserve being here. And, uh, of course, we expect tomorrow night to be tough. It's going to be a tough game, a difficult game. But we are Milan, and we have to play how we know how to. Corriere della Sera, please. Stefano. Um, I, I would imagine that um, you can still remember the defeat against Fiorentina at the weekend. Um, anything you want to avoid this time around? Well, it's a different game different game and um, we're going to focus on tomorrow night's match against Tottenham and the game is going to be more intense and they're going to put a lot of pressure on us um, even more than they did in Milan. We know what to expect and we've prepared ourselves to be up to the task to be able to withstand them, to know how to move on the out on the pitch and to know how to get a good result. Gadda to the sport please. Good evening. I think that um, the first thing What's the first thing Milan has to do tomorrow? The first thing they have to avoid doing, have a good approach to the game and be very con play with a great deal of continuity, be very careful, play high quality football, make the right decisions, which to a certain extent are going to be determined by um, the solutions we need to find to um, uh, match the opposition. We need to match the opposition, um, has to be at, um, high quality, high quality choice, technically high quality as well. Any um, UK, any English journalists want to ask a question? Wouldn't appear to be the case. Daniel Lunga. Well, I just wanted to ask you a question. What, how will Tottenham be uh, different compared to the way in which they played um, in Milan? Uh, uh, in Milan, uh, after all, I think that um, 
you don't deserve to win, and particularly if we consider the number of um, opportunities they created, and perhaps their defeat against the Wolves, Wolverhampton at the weekend, is that going to be a positive thing or a negative thing in terms of their motivation? Motivation. I don't think what you do in, in the league changes anything as to what's going to happen tomorrow. It's a decisive game for both teams. Um, both teams want to get through to the next round in the Champions League. Um, we expect... Uh, uh, Spurs to put um, our ball carriers uh, under a lot more pressure compared to what um, they did in Milan. I think they're going to be tough, strong. Uh, Tottenham, I think that um, if you look at their data, particularly in the second half, um, they were a top, top team. So we need to be really careful in playing them. And um, we do prepare our games from a tactical point of view, a strategic point of view. But then, you know, certain episodes determine the outcome of a game. And we need to make sure that we pay a great deal of attention to these episodes, play them with a great deal of determination so that they are to our um, uh, advantage, rather than to Spurs' advantage. Next, please. A question uh, for uh, Kronich. Uh, um, you've played in the uh, four games uh, in which uh, Milan have kept a clean sheet, which suggests that the way in which you play, you help the defence, you help the midfield out, and tomorrow's going to be a battle, I think, for you, isn't it? You are a very, um, uh, uh, you're a utility player, utility player, you can play every anywhere, so um, from a tactical point of view, this is going to be important tomorrow. Yeah, as um, the coach has said, we prepared the game really well, but um, ultimately the game is decided by episodes, one-off episodes, I think, and um, things that happen. I think we have a, a good, a small, a, a slight lead. We still have to play our own game, um, keep the ball, uh, try to control the game insofar as it's possible. And then, of course, um, you have to all help the team out, both in defence and in attack. You know, ultimately we're all going to be doing our best out there. Question from Mascato Webb. Next question. Good evening uh, to both of you. A question for Kronich. Um, now, very often this year, um, people have said Milan uh, 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 is missing uh, Makasi. You've played um, uh, you've played in the centre of the field. You've played uh, wider. Could you play a little bit uh, further up this time around? Um, do you like being labelled the new Kessi, Frank Kessi, or do you prefer just being Kronich? Well, I haven't got much to do with Frank Kessie at all, uh, as far as I'm concerned. I played my own season um, and played my own game last uh, season alongside um, Frank Kessie. I think that, you know, when you've got top players, uh, you're always going to miss someone if they're no longer play for you, someone like Frank. We miss other players who've perhaps left the club as well, of course. But I, you know, I, I consider myself to be Radek Kronic, and that's it. And I think that I can help the team out in my own way. And... Um, you know, in terms of where I can play, well, um, the coach knows where I can play. I can play in different positions, and I'm prepared uh, to play in any position he asks me to play in. Fabio Conte, please. Fabio Conte. Good evening, everyone. Stefano, I just wanted to ask you, at the, uh, in the first game, Conte said that San Siro gave you a real boost, and the supporters helped you. They helped you to score. Now, um, do you think the same thing could happen here to Spurs? Um, you know, what impression this, this has created? You know, perhaps you think you're going to play even better um, in front of the stadiums um, and the stadiums are public. Well, our well, the fans didn't actually score. We scored. They helped us to score, don't get me wrong. I mean, um, we played a good game in Milan. We'll try to do that tomorrow. Obviously, we know that the stadium tomorrow is going to be going to be a really hot, um, uh, uh, passionate atmosphere and... Um, you know, but we're used to playing in these stadia. After all, we want to play in these stadia. After all, we want to live these emotions and um, as a team capable of getting good results. Hi, Stefano. Tomorrow, um, you can um, write a page in the, the history of football. Um, I'm not just talking about going through because, um, um, you know, Milan um, won't be writing a page in history just by qualifying. But um, we're hoping that um, you'll play really well. You know, what can you do to show that Milan is back? I hope that you'll be able to play the same game that you played in Europe against uh, Manchester United a couple of years ago. I think in terms of the authorities you showed on the pitch, that's what I'd like to see again. That Milan again. 
Um, in fact, um, perhaps you need to be even stronger than the Milan that played two years ago against Manchester United. Well, listen, tomorrow um, it's going to boil down to character. I think that's what Radic has said. You know, we need to show our character, control the um, game. Uh, our, our opponents are very good, particularly going forward, have very strong individuals. They play with a lot of intensity, a lot of energy, at the beginning of the first half, beginning of the second half in particular. So we need to be well prepared and we need to um, uh, stand up to them and withstand their attacks. We have a slender lead. We have a slender lead, but we can't just sit back and uh, manage the game. We need to try to score, score through our game, uh, our play, our quality, and perhaps try to surprise um, the opponents as well. Because, you know, the fact that they need to score means that they might leave a bit of spa space uh, behind in defence. Thank you very much indeed.